Hello, and welcome back to the next part of my Jeanpur into India playthrough. Alright, so it looks like I've been looking around a bit, <clears throat> and it seems like we have Bengal going in to help out the Delians. And also, I looked around and noticed that the Tehran and the province of Isfahan are both have 16 and 15,000 troops, respectively. That is not good news for the Tiburids, and I believe that Delhi will be able to fight them back. Especially with the help of Sindh and Bengal. Anyway, but let's get to do one. So it might not be the best idea to, but hey, there are losing troops like nobody's business. But they are rebuilding. Hmm. Anyways. Let's call our diplomats. We are supporting the independence of Gondwana, who is a Hindu vassal of Malwa. Hmm. Meanwhile, we are coring the province of Kuman, Garwal, and Tirhut. Once again, I apologize for the butchering of the names of every single province in India. Now, so 65%. So yeah, now we're just kind of winning around. I did find out that the uh, we're actually the look we are the production leader of cotton, which is a bit surprising to see, as we only have four three cotton producing provinces, but I guess they are all very high development. Kabir. Really prestige, really cheap. <clears throat> air falls ill. Okay, so let's look at our air. Three, one, two. Not very good. Let's just pray for his life. And he died. Nice. Alright. And we do have a royal marriage with, yes. Okay, let's hope that someday soon we can get a... Get a heir from Bamanas, who does have a very good dynasty in terms of monarch points. Hmm. Now let's see if we can get Sind on our side. They are allied to Delhi, though. So that will make it a little bit harder. Maybe Miwa? No, but they're Hindu. But they are... Hmm. Let's actually return from here. Instead, let's form an alliance with Muar. Mar... Muar, yes. Let me see if we can go in. Nope, no air. It's a bit unlucky, but that's alright. So it looks like the Timurids are, in fact, winning in this war, but they are having... 15,000 Bengal troops and 14,000 to the south of Delians. And they are gonna lose Persia, pretty much. As soon as they start to get this out of control, it's very unlikely that they're gonna be able to survive. Rampaging throughout the countryside. Actually, there is another achievement that we might be going for as well, which is that that's the Silk Road. If we can expand into. The, I think believe the furthest west province is uh, Hudavendigar. But if we can get far enough, and maybe one day we will be able to get the That's a Silk Road achievement. I've been meaning to get that one for a while. But I haven't really been playing in the India, Middle East, or Chinese areas for the best of a while. 443, nice. Alright. That is good news. Let's see if our force limit has increased. Yes, it has. Okay, let's get. Let's see what our income is. Two forty-nine. Okay, we can get one more cav, one more soldier. And continue to stand on to your hut. To keep that rebellion down. Six point three and eleven point three. Evil risks. Let's make both these estates and core them as soon as possible. 
this one was already a state gore because of being part of Patna, our ownership of Patna at the beginning of the game. Hmm. I want them to fight more before I jump on this. But they do not have an alliance with Bengal anymore. Hmm. Oh, we have to jump on that. But I don't want... Ugh. I don't want the Timurids to be able to get... These provinces. So I'm going to let them fight first. Then we will jump on them. First they need to actually fight each other. Multan. Hmm. I wonder what they've why they You're still at war with the Timurids, so I wonder why you decided to break your alliance with Delhi. And we look like we have Marwar. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my ally. Nice. And looks like Marwar is actually... Well, we'll keep you around for a little while. Improve relations with you. Improve relations with Bavanis. Just to keep things nice and tidy. They are a Shia, so they aren't as which a friend automatically, as they soon you would be. Come on, Delhi, fight. Hmm. It's looking. It's looking like Timurids are gonna win this war, simply because of the fact that Bengal is fighting Arisa as well. But, but they are winning against Arisa. Hmm. Arisa wants military access. Sure. Too much just want to fight. Hmm. Looks like they will be giving a little horror to them. We need a new mosque in this style. Let us return to a more similar style of the Delhi chant. 15 prestige, 10 legitimacy, and gain 10 piety. Absolutely for 8 ducats. The Renaissance. Okay, this is what we've been waiting for. So, we could go up to Military Tech 4, which would put us almost on par. Would, we would still be on par without it. So I believe that first I'm going to improve the province of Jeanpour. I do this because of the silk, I mean cloth, that is produced here, which lowers development cost. I could also do Lower Doab, Lucknow, or Katahar. But since it's our capital, it gets the increased minus 9.3% from being our capital with 186 development. So I believe that's the one that we're going to increase. So we're just going to give it to the military first because that's the one that we want the most. That way we get we buy all the military with those points. Might be a little bit of flawed reasoning, but let's go to this. Make sure that we're not going all overboard. Start up the Renaissance in India. Almost there. I should just need one more. And there we go. Now I just need to make enough money. Three hundred twenty-two. We're almost there. So we just need to wait a little while, and we will have the Renaissance in India. Amirs, merchant guilds. Everybody can take the hit. So which would we want to lose? We want to lose the diplomatic power for now. Speaking of which, I do... No, for now, because of the five administrative skill, we're going to leave the... Not increase, the set the national focus. But if we ever do, when the sun die, comes into the claim, comes into the throne, I believe I will be setting the national focus on administrative just to power through those economic ideas when we get them. <clears throat> Book burning. We want to lose piety. Looks like they did take Salkot. And they do not have allies, so let's go to war. Take Delhi, Shinkladesh. 
No one will join me. That's okay. 24 to 13 are terrible general. But they have a terrible general as well, so let's do this. We will make 8 to the 3 and stack wipe. There we go. Simple as that. Let's break off a siege. And move on to Surrend. <clears throat> they will let us go all the way to Lahore. Hmm. I wonder why this zone of control isn't stopping us. I believe that it should, but... And we will let that siege go down, because the, uh, the uh, fort in Patna will stop it from giving us extra separatism. So there's no use trying to go back for it now. Add these two to that with Syrind. Ooh, and it looks like our Akal Khand. Speaking of which, we should probably improve relations with Papa Gun so that we can, as soon as possible, integrate them. 212, not exactly the greatest province in the world, but we make do with what we can. Alright. The Rajputs of the Doab. Jan Pocket's Rajput recruitment until 1463 or stability we're going to take stability Look now it's 1453 right so we should be able to uh so we're going to marry you looks like we are going to be a little bit late to get the chief efficiency but that is the cost of talking while playing the game so you do not get exactly the top efficiency. Alright, let's get to Upper Doab. With our stack, that's where we'll be sending our troops once we take care of the Tirhadian separatists. Okay. No, we do not cut that Yari. Now, hopefully we're not taking these three provinces. We will get a little bit of a coalition. But I don't believe that they'll join it. Eastern countries are rare to join coalitions. It's only when you really push the bounds of it that it, they start joining. It's much less than in Europe. Alright. So, I think that's good. How much money are you willing to give me? You willing to give me all the money? Yes, you are. And then... Nope, not offer tribute. And then warps? Yes. Nice. Okay. So very efficiently dismantled the Delhi state our former overlords and now let's embrace before these cores come in let's embrace the uh, renaissance and we are a great power I knew that we'd become a great power soon looks like we are we're actually the only one with the Renaissance at the moment. And we are at 266. So we kicked off. Nope, Castile. Looks like Castile has gotten Aragon as its vassal. Personal union. But same difference. Yeah, it's a little bit different. 40 years or so, give or take. Exactly. Actually, 40 years, but you know. Anyways, let's kill off these 11,000 Tyradians. Thankfully, it is not like Victoria 2 in that the population when you kill the rebels does not just disappear. The farms are going plenty with the dyes. Producing the dyes. Alright. So we need 90 for Verdoab and we want to be sitting on Verdoab. Because that is. Oh, no, we want to be sitting on Delhi. Because that is on Delhi. That's probably where the rebels, when they do come, are going to pop up. Lose the money, take a loan. We have four ducats of income now, so it's no huge loss. And it looks like we are in the Doab trade node. So these Delhi will be a very good promise for us. However, we would like to probably move to Bengal eventually. 
or maybe Ceylon, Gohar, Indus. Any of these are upstream and better for us than Doab. Doab is probably the worst, except for Kashmir, in terms of trade notes in India. So we will have to factor that in eventually. Let's start coring for Doab. We can still convert, but as before, nothing's really changed. Still not a good idea. Only get increase in the rest in provinces that wouldn't otherwise have them. Unless they can Godwanda. Alright. So it might be the right time to try to take copy. Hmm. Looks like Garbal is going to rebel soon. Any day now. Hmm. Let's go to our vassal. Hmm. Is there anything else that we can do? No, I don't think so. We'd send a gift, but if I spend the money, then we could just wait a little bit longer and convert them, integrate them anyway. Alright. Let's cut off these rebels. It's going to be a little bit of waiting around at the beginning, as we've now definitely pushing the limits of aggressive expansion. And waiting for... We're going to be a little bit behind in military tech, because... All the other people around us are not going to be as eager as we were to spend points on our development. And 38 province in the middle of India. That is pretty good. It's like the France of uh, Paris of India. Jean Parr. Alright. So let's pay off that loan. Nope. 157, 180 month. Yeah. And now we wait. Hmm. Send gift? No. So who is our next war going to be with? I believe... Well, we'll watch and see how this war goes for them. They do? They are down to 13,000 troops. Man, I... You got not very strong bomb on us this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if Vijayanagar... Oh, okay, you are at war with... Gujarat, so you're not as likely to jump on this opportunity. Hmm. Let's see. Can we get Ayataya or some such as our friend? How likely is it? Not very. Distance between borders is too high. Sure, we'll. Speaking of which, would you actually want to be a vessel? No. Provence in production and technology. I find. I haven't done exactly the math on this, but generally I like the points now rather than later. Rather than having to pay the inflation costs down later. Let's core all these. Why did I put the troops down there? I guess it is their natural resting place. As our capital's there. Alright, so Arissa. Hmm. So it looks like they are, in fact, winning. They are in the jungle, which is. makes it. Oh, uh, well, there's, they're not, it's not technically tropical. So it doesn't have the increased. attrition for enemies, plus two. It's so painful. So, maybe it's not as bad. As you get down in India. Uh, it looks like just in the center here. It's strange that there's no tropical farther south. I guess technically we are below the... Hmm. I guess I'm, my thinking is a little bit too North American central in that terms. Okay, they have Kalpi now, directly. And look who's appeared, Persia. Persia, would you want to be friends? Let's put relations with Persia. I have a feeling that they're going to be powerful this game. Seeing as the Ottomans have not expanded the Mamluks yet. And the Timurids are going to be super weak. And we are going to need Silkat from them. 
In fact, let's really quickly look over. Let's see. Form Hindustan. Which provinces are we going to need? Multan, Lahore, Sirhind. So Sirhind. I'm guessing Siakat's on this list. No? We are going to need Multan, who is a vassal of the Timurids, so... We are, at some point, going to need to expand into them. So they are a natural enemy, and as Persia hates the Timurids, they are a natural friend. Looks like we can take up to the big square. And teching should be prepared now. Ooh, and in fact, let's turn off the forts in Patna and Jhanapur. Leave the one in central Doab just so that when they spawn in probably Delhi, we will not get the intel the uh, separatism just in case. Batiana, where is that? On Delhi. Oh. army. 15,000, 20,000 down south. Gujarat is fighting back against Pajanagar. Good. Just a little bit at least. I have a feeling that they are going to lose, but... Hmm. Ah, dang it. Should have killed where earlier. Now we are no longer allowed to rival them. Nagar would not join, Gondwar would, Gadvana would join. Take Korkalpi. Okay. Let's go to war and probably take... Hmm. Let's see. Yes, let's take this. Try to fill up this state. So let's take Kalpi and Bandukkaland. Bandukkaland. Ban Del Khand. Hmm. Anyway. Take copy. Noir. Yes, we will be definitely happy to give you land. Nagar. No. Okay. Let's go to work. They will siege them in Swar. But I remember it's a pretty good province. It's, no, it's Mandu. That's a really good province. Except. Prestige is a lot more transient than legitimacy in my experience. You can be free with prestige. Jean Prayer. Good to transfer him to us. And this is Hills. No, we, we, we are something. So pretty bad attrition there. Let's go back to Lower Doab. That's 5% attrition down there. Let's just let our allies do the sieging. And we are going to want, since we can start figuring out the peace deal, the Nuggeland and Park Copy. Hmm. Whoops, didn't mean to scroll up there. Uh, Noir gives us a little bit of. I really hate that event. It's not exactly the most useful in the game, but, well, whatever. I guess it could matter if you're like allied to France and right next to them and giving them a little bit of spy network could ruin your relations. But otherwise there's no really point to it. Integrating Bunkerland, Bagelkand, Bagelkand. Okay. Do we have too many troops now? No. Nice. And good thing we got those troops because we're gonna need them against this, in this fight. Let's see, two, two, four, six to six. Okay, good. Seven to seven. 
Alright. This is coming down to dry. 7 to 4. Good. And it looks like we're gonna win. Alright. But this is gonna be very painful for the manpower. Alright, let's see if they'll give me what I want. And if you want to give them far to you. Us two favors. All right. That's about all I want. Alright, and then let's get some money. Don't have much money. And war ups. Nope. Okay. Just take the money. Alright. Cool. Bundelka. I gotta stop trying to pronounce these names. Alright. And let our treasury expand. Of course, it is a little misleading. As it is, in fact, only 0.56, not the 10 that it promised. Now. Oh, and I am letting this episode go way too long. Alright, we're going to stop here. Please like, comment, subscribe, anything you want to do. Share it with a friend, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thank you for watching. All right, bye.